She got nicked up. A little, uh, little hip pointer uh, that he got. Took a shot. So we were actually had a lot of running backs to play. So it was more of that. My receiver. Same thing. You want, you know, we carted him off uh, with the knee injury. So we kind of see the extent of it. We carted him off. And uh, we'll kind of let you know from there. Five receivers, just generally, how do you feel about this, their performance? I, I'm going to say this about our team. I think everybody, tight end, played well. Uh, I think every number that we called on, I'm talking position-wise, I thought they stepped up to the, to the plate. We played a lot of receivers. Ricky, you could go, uh, uh, really Dom, Stampley, of course. Uh, Bebe coming in. Bevon Sidney got reps. All the way down to some of our younger players that got some good time at being. Daniel Barker had a good uh, camp, and he followed up today with a touchdown. I just think he's a, you know, we've had a lot of great tight ends, like Josh Whitman played here at the University of Illinois. And so to follow that trend a little bit, Daniel Barker has been, I've talked, he had an outstanding training camp. He can block, he, we can put him in line, and he can handle the defensive end. And we can spread him out, and he can catch the football. His best football is ahead of him. He's a good football player. How important is it to set the, to set the tone for you to, to set a bar? I think absolutely it is. I mean, once we get to, once you start saying you're a good football team, you have the bar is high, you play to that level each week. In order to do that, you can't have a, you know, there's no preseason in college football. I mean, there's a non-conference schedule that starts the regular season, and you need to play your best football. That way, that hadn't been the case always for us here. This today, we did. I mean, we came out and played the way we've been practicing. And it's one game. We realize that. It's one game. But you definitely would rather maybe be making correction based on a little bit better performance. You talked highly of uh, Caleb Griffin and Jason Court's performance out today. What did McCourt show you about the game? That, and on how all positions kind of work a little bit consistent. I mean, we start. You, know, you start training camp, and you start charting everything that everyone does, and you're evaluating them in a lot of different areas, under pressure, just total care. That's why we went with James. Uh, but at the same time, this one game is like everybody else. You kind of have a starting rotation. And for guys to stay in that position, they have to keep performing. It's not a good start by us, but I thought we sell down and kick better at the end. Well, I need to get away from saying that to be truthful that we're a running football team. We want to be a balanced team. Simple as that. But that balance needs to start with the run. And uh, it was. But I think from what you saw today, we know that we can, the passing game can, can be a lot better than it's been, in, of course, in the past. Starting with the QB, we have a lot of options uh, to throw the football. And our line is blocking well. Some games, you have to lean on the pass a little bit more. Today we will be able to keep that balance. Justice Williams said that was a highlight for you today. I mean, he had his first career highlight. Sure was. Sure was. And who, I mean, Justice, you know, he's already graduated. He does everything right. He's been that way since I got here on campus. So you want guys like that to have success. And uh, everybody was excited for him. And, uh, you know, we moved him. He's played, you know, when I first got here, he was a linebacker. Play. He started as linebacker for us here. Of course, moving into receiver. For him to get some tight end reps like that, uh, it's good to see. How important was that first drive for Brandon? Just came out there and moved down the field. How important was that? I, it's that. very important. I think our entire football team, you know, uh, how much sleep did you get last night? A lot, probably more than most of us did. So there's a lot of anticipation. Brandon, yes, uh, and, and so many others. So many of us had to, you know, thinking about the same thing. A lot of different things you can think on, of course, that first game. For him, he's been doing an awful lot. So to go down there right away, boom, 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 get in the end zone. Uh, but that's how he is. I mean, he, he's not one of those guys. He's a confident guy. And uh, I, what we're looking for at the quarterback position, you want a guy that's like that.
Coach, talk about the uh, defensive line, the front four. What are your, your expectations for them? They, they seem to be swarming the quarterback uh, this afternoon. They got the sacks. What's your expectation for the, 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 the core of the front four on the defensive line? Well, we can start with what you said. We want to swarm. We want to play hard. It all always starts up there. Gap control, standing in your gap, doing your job, uh, taking care of business on first and second down so you can get a chance to rush on third. When you get a chance, I mean, when you talk good defensive line play, how many sacks do you have again? So it's just good to get those guys in that position. We played so many players. That's what we want to do. We want to substitute uh, as often as we possibly can and get everybody involved. Today, a lot of the guys were able to get involved. Five tackle, didn't, didn't see that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Shimon, as we recruit him, you know, good football player. He's going to be a good football player for us. But as a young player, um, you know, you go into the game, you don't know how much some of the young players are going to get an opportunity to play. So for him to do that and go out there, you got to remember your first day. He'll remember this. He'll be making a lot more tackles for us in the future. Coach, was there any discussion on the sidelines about getting Isaiah Williams on the field? I figured that question would come a little bit earlier. Uh, yes, it was. Then, you know, they feel like Isaiah eventually will play for us. I mean, today we just felt like we saved him a little bit. We'll have a plan for Isaiah. We had a plan for him today. Just feel like we need to go into it today. Thank you. Okay, everybody.